In today's video, we'll be talking about this Blender add-on called Forestation. It is not a new add-on actually, but B Production, the creators behind it, just recently released Volume 2, which is an upgraded version of the add-on. This add-on became much better than it previously was thanks to several major updates and new features added to this new version. So before actually we get into the new version and the new features, let me quickly remind you what this add-on is all about and what you can do with it. Firstly, it is almost like a vegetation add-on, but it only contains trees, and it can be used as a production tool for designers, CG artists, archivist artists, and many others. And it features a big asset collection containing high-quality 3D scanned trees with PBR textures and easily editable shaders. It actually contains 49 3D scanned trees that can help you create realistic nature scenes using Blender Cycles or Eevee. And for more optimization of your workflow, the add-on has an HD and a low poly bonus. This makes a lot of sense for huge scenes such as a forest considering we all have a limited computing power. So you can add an HD tree for the most part in foreground renders and close-up shots, and you can add low-poly trees to create a forest in the background. This is actually an option that is gonna save you a lot of time during the process of creating your forest scenes, and it is also a necessary feature I might add. Just a quick note before we continue, let me explain firstly why the 3D scan trees of Forestation are of high quality and why they are some of the best out there. Well, mainly because the developers give so much attention to the little details where they scan each trunk individually by taking photos of it from all angles with 200 to 300 photos for each tree model. And then after the scanning is done, they use a photogrammetry software to reconstruct a point cloud from which they can generate the mesh of the trunks. After finishing that, they move to the upper branches and leaves, where they procedurally generate the branches with their leaves. Then, they finalize the process by creating the shaders and modifiers set up using Cycles and Eevee. Now, let's move to the features that this add-on can offer. It actually has a lot of features that enable you to create and give life to the trees and then customize them according to your needs. For example, you can change the season of the trees to winter, summer, spring or fall and animate the leaves according to what you need. It also contains a randomized tool that allows you to create and generate as much variation with the trees as you need, and you can even add moss or snow to your trunks. Most importantly, Forestation is compatible with the famous Scatter 5, and this allows you to create 30 ready-to-use forests. These forests can later be used to create an incredibly realistic final render with Blender Cycles or Eevee. As we said before, the HD and low poly buttons enable you to optimize your workflow by allowing you to add an HD tree for the foreground renders and low poly trees in the background. Additionally, all trees in Forestation respect real world scale, meaning that if a tree is 12 meters or 40 feet high in reality, it will be the same height inside Blender. You may also import an endless number of trees, each of which will be unique from the others in terms of both size and orientation. Add to that the fact that textures, shaders, and models are fully optimized for Blender in order to use the least amount of memory and accelerate render times. Now let's talk about the stuff that came with the new update. First of all, there are now 14 more scanned trees added to the library allowing you to play with the add-on even more. Additionally, you can now pick where you want to save the library file, and you can now access the Forestation add-on and your Blender's M-Panel B production tab. Additionally, while importing the assets, append and link functions have been included. This add-on will be ideal for you if you want to create close-up renders, especially for forests with a variety of trees, because it has a selection of high-quality trees compared to the best you can get out there. And trunks were designed with micro-displacement in mind, which allows you to have an amazing degree of detail. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.